what I've done now is I've broken the beef tenderloin into subparts. So this is the center cut right here. This is where you're going to get your filet mignon cuts. And this is the most tender of the tenderloin, right? So amplified tenderness. These two pieces right here, these are the tips of the tenderloin. So it was one end and the other end. You can still get your filet cuts out of these tips. A lot of people, this is where you serve tender tips and little pieces of the tenderloin that can be mixed into other dishes. You're not gonna get those big fat steaks out of there, but you can just grill those as is themselves. They're just as good. And there's really no difference other, other than just kind of the size and the fact that maybe they're a little bit closer to the fattier end of another cut of meat. Um, little scrap that came off the side muscle right here. This is the side muscle roast. Some people call this the Chateau Brienne. Others refer to the Chateau Brienne as kind of a large piece within the tender cut. This to me, this side muscle, which is on the side of the um, tenderloin is incredibly delicious and it's rich. I love this. And once again, this can be broken down into individual steaks or this can just be roasted for two, you and the lovely right there. Now this is the chain. This is what ran along the side of the tenderloin. There's a lot of meat in here, but then there's also a lot of silver skin in here and some fat. Now keep in mind, silver skin and fat are not the same thing. Typically silver skin has a layer of fat over it. You wanna keep that fat. We've got a pile of the fat and the trimmings over here. I'm gonna render this down, this pile of fat and trimmings, and I'm going to do it at a really, really low temperature so that I can use that beef fat or the beef tallow to cook with. And then the pieces of meat that are left over from that, which I'm gonna separate, I'm gonna use that to make a little bit of a pan sauce or a beef stock, um, or you can just eat it as is. Now I'm gonna break this chain down right here into pieces and then what I like to do is I like to take the pieces of meat that come out of this tenderloin chain and then I'll skewer those and I'll grill those as beef skewers, beef kebabs, whatever you want to call it. And that in and of itself is also a great dish or a great meal.